Let's take a look at the integrated late rate law for a zero order type of rate. In a zero order, of course, the rate is the reaction rate is independent of the concentration of your reactant A. So zero order, it's zero order in A. So if this is your reaction rate is equal to negative dA dt, then <clears throat> the uh, rate law is negative dA dt equals k times a to the zero power which is the same as uh, equal to k. Now you can integrate this particular derivative by pulling the um, the uh, variables all to the same side and you'll get um, dA is equal to negative k dt and so if you integrate both sides um, of that equation. Um, the, the solution to the integral of dx is just x, and since we're integrating over time t, it's going to be a at time t plus the constant minus uh, a at time 0. So that would be equal to um, a time t minus a, whoops, a at time 0 is equal to negative k t. Um, so um, in this case you can uh, write the equation as it is and you can then solve for the concentration at any time t um, given the rate constant and the initial concentration using this equation. And you can also rewrite it in the form in a, a y equals mx plus b form uh, and you'll see that um, a at time t is equal to um, negative kt plus a at time zero and so this would be your y in your y equals mx plus b so this is your y-intercept and negative k would be the slope and um, so you can rewrite it in this way this is the y mx plus b format and you can see that if you plot um, a, a, the concentration of A versus time, then the slope of the line is going to be negative K. And that's how you can find um, the rate constant for this particular um, zero order rate um, equation. So when you just plot A versus time, you get a straight line and the slope is negative K. We'd also like to derive the equation for the half-life for a zero order type equation and in this case since the half-life is when half of the original uh, reactant has um, has uh, reacted away you can set your equation um, up in this way where you have the a equals negative kt plus a naught and this is a at some time let's say t one half time and so um, at t1 half the concentration of um, A at t1 half is equal to 1 half of the original concentration so I can plug that in and it's 1 half A naught equals negative KT plus A naught and so if I subtract A naught from both sides then I'll get negative 1 half A naught is equal to negative KT 1 half and so in this case, the um, half-life is equal to t one-half is equal to a naught over 2k. And in this case, what you see is that the half-life is dependent on the initial concentration. It is dependent on the initial concentration so after each half-life expires the time of the next half-life changes the half-life is not constant it's only that half-life time is only constant for first order rate kinetics not zero order rate kinetics that's very important is dependent on a naught